Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. It's Operation Typhoon Shell. It's a retaliation early into the next month. And uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe maybe we miscalculated. Uh, but no, it is here. The retaliation is here. We're taking out Iggy, working on that last promotion. Trell, working on that last promotion. Toaster, working on some promotions. Weather Girl, working on that last promotion. Stargrave at Captain and Serenity at Captain as well. We have, uh, of note, Heavy Strike and Rage Suit over here. We're going to try this EM Pulse. Uh, probably better with a bit equipped, but we're going to see how this feels anyways. Uh, Exalt Ghost Rifle here. The uh, Cal-15 and the Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher, Exosuit, Mag Cannon, Trio over on Serenity. Let's, uh, let's rock and roll. Today's trivia question. As of the end of episode 50... Which class has the worst overall expected accuracy score? This is again, of the shots that you're supposed to hit, how many do you hit? A negative number means you're missing the shots you should be hitting. A positive number means you're hitting shots that you have no business hitting. A, Spark, all variants. B, Marines. C, Templars. Or D, Sappers. I got this one right. Doesn't happen very often. And today's uh, log is written by Shiblin Guardian Wilcox, our field medic. It says, Physically, I'll make a recovery. Mentally and emotionally, that's a different story. I was shot at by my wife, Layla. In a cruel twist of events, while I made the leap to join XCOM, she made the leap to join Exalt. She shot at me without warning. My arm was nicked by her warning shot. I managed to get away after that. I didn't dare pull the trigger of my own gun against her. Couldn't if I tried. I hope you know I still love you, Layla. Even now, with everything that I've done, everything you've done, we've both chosen our paths, and now we must follow them till the end. Maybe one day we'll be back within each other's arms, but right now, we're on different sides of this war. Man, one of the coolest things that's happened this season is the storylines between uh, Exalt and our own XCOM soldiers. It's just been so cool that some of them have actually come to fruition and been able to see themselves through. I can think of a, a few a few pairings over the course of the season that have really stood out. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. I really like the Exalt faction being in the campaign. I think it adds a nice little twist. Uh, the fact that, especially the fact that they don't respect yellow alert rules. And look, we tried to get them to. We tried real hard. We couldn't figure it out. And by we, I mean I watched people try to figure it out because all the modders are way smarter than I am. And yeah, we just don't know. So in a way, it kind of makes them even more unique. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go. Okay, we found stuff. That's exciting. All right, so what are we looking at here? Here's the EMP pulse. Now, because we don't... Okay, yeah. Because we don't have the bit, it's just going to be around us. If we had the bit equipped, then we could do this. Uh, still, pretty strong could run in and trigger this if we wanted to. Uh, but for now, we're just going to... Oh, don't, don't lie to me. It lied to me? Did it lie to me? Game on. Game on. You know what, it's probably fine because these guys would likely go and kill something that I don't want killed. This can still work for me. See ya. Oh, did you remove the tree? Oh no. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Wait, why are you not done? Oh, because of, uh, because of Ruthless. Okay, well, actually. Look at that AoE from the, uh, what is that, what is that add-on that we have here? Advanced Wide Angle Nozzle. Place your bets. Oh, it landed. I'll take it. We do need to kill that thing, though. Uh, the Priest I'm less concerned about. I will move. But actually, I might even go for a pull here. 76 is tempting. It is tempting. Moving to 
We have those extra charges on the flamethrower and stuff now. From the last upgrade. We do this without hitting our guys. This looks okay. Okay. I'll take that. And then... Let's see if we can grapple this priest. Oh, beautiful. And we gave that smoke cover there, which I totally 100% intended. Just covering that group, why not, you know? Uh, shotgun. Let's get right in there. It's nice when it's just one pod of enemies. This is like... This is how it used to be back in the day. Those were the days, you know? Good times. No problem, boss. I, if I was smarter about this, Serenity should have came and take the final shot so he goes into this mode. And then Stargrave takes the Overwatch for the kill with the guaranteed one damage. Whoops. But he's probably just going to bail here anyway. We'll see. What's that noise we just heard? Okay, there's a Chrysalid by the... Fuel tank. And behind the building. I'm never gonna remember. I can't. I've already lost track. Chris, we have chrysalids on this map? Oh, retribution, which I also planned for. That works. There's his auto reload kicking in. <laughs> I do like that. Uh, Trell, why don't you take this? So, this is 8 to 9, but it's showing 6 because of... That's all we do to these. Cool gun, though. Whoa, what else did we hit? I killed a civilian. I did kill a civilian, unfortunately. That is officially my bad. See if that chrysalid runs at us. It didn't. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna send Toaster in here. Feeling pretty strong. Trajectory indicates armor deflection. Detecting system damage. Okay. I love how just everything is chrysalids now. Every mission is just chrysalids. More chrysalids, chrysalids, more of them. Chrysalids everywhere. Oh my god! I did not expect that. Okay, okay, we've got a real challenge here. Oh god, we've got the children of the king ruler. That actually concerns me quite a bit. That does scare me. It with fire. Let's roust here. These guys are so far away. Not great. I'm going. I know we're standing in the open here, but we're also so far back that we'll I don't here. think it matters. Uh, maybe, actually. What's our targeting like? Sucks. What's your targeting like? Less, less suck. I'm seeing a world where there's two here. I think I saw it where we were hitting both. There it is. Come on, baby. We're in the ballpark. Okay, maybe maybe I wasn't even seeing it. Maybe it was just that. Oh, no! 
Oh, that was a misclick. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the last couple episodes I've made a, a couple of reloads and they were mostly due to my not reading skill descriptions. He actually landed a shot like that. So I'm gonna take the misclick as penance. Okay, Toaster is eating everything right now. Not good. I have failed us. He's gonna take real damage here, I think. Or not! Oh my god. We're gonna have a chrysalid barbecue very soon. Oh, and the crit too. Beautiful. Oh, please don't trigger. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is really scary. That's actually like I'm legitimately scared of that. Oh, smart. I wonder if this guy's gonna roast us here. Okay, you guys, that's quite enough. We oh, he healed a chrysalid. Oh, please light your friends on fire. We to get cooked. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So, bind and crush, snap freeze. Uh No Overwatch or reaction fire. Can move to new cover after being attacked. Um, now, were these guys immune to fire, I think? Was it, I don't know if this is the same one that we saw in those tunnels. Must be, because it, it's missing some health. And I think it was immune to fire. I'm wondering if I should just... Do this. Oh, that was that is dark. That looked that looked <laughs> he's hanging on by his arm, okay, but that looked dark to me. We're gonna come up here and flame this group. Heading out. Krell doesn't have a great shot here, unfortunately. Supernova is only one action. When certain Vipers are killed, they explode dealing frost damage. I kind of feel like... Maybe overdriving here. And then... We would... Go in for a bash. Which would disorient, not stun. And then we go for the, the supernova. I do have the, the one move first. Let's start with this. I want to see if they react to movement because... Okay. So now we got our two actions. If I overdrive, I go three actions. And then we'll be stunned if we pull this off correctly. Enemies have historically been ignoring our stunned units, which gives me a little bit of maybe relief here. We can actually wreck through here, right? Because of the 
Overdrive. Okay, that was not what I thought was going to happen. I, th I thought we were going to break this, but that's fine too. So now I want to hit... Can I hit three? No. I feel like they're... I feel like they're immune, right? <laughs> I feel like they're immune. Let's go for this. Enemy armor intact. Yeah, immune, exactly. And then I'm just gonna supernova right here. I'll do it uh, there. I'll do it here because it's hitting that other Rostling, maybe. Still, this this skill doesn't always work the way that I think it does. Okay, it did work there. And they did freeze some stuff. And we are shut down. But on the whole, that was fantastic. Burn them out. These guys are still far enough away, I think. little too far. I could, like, rage strike in here, but then I'm pretty exposed. Who are we bonded with? Oh, I think we're, we're bonded with Weather Girl, aren't we? Yeah. I better get into some cover here. If you blow up, that would be fine. Of course. Now, these guys could very well just burn. It's possible. But... Uh Stargrave isn't going to contribute much otherwise. Now that one's definitely going to die. Okay. Let's bring uh, Zaya way up. And Iggy... Do we have a thing where we get to run away after one of these? I don't think so. But getting him untouchable would be nice. I will go. Uh, we could also do this. Mm, that targeting's weird. There's also this play. But then I might just be standing there. Let's see if you can land this. Oh, nice. We take from the elder stock. That's beautiful. Weapon depleted. Okay. So the snake princess is disoriented. Uh, we've got that going for us. Oh, boy. Oh, it's summoning the gate already. It's trying to open another rift. Damn. Well, untouchable. Position under fire. Did actually plan for that. That's not going to do anything. He's a robot. So, uh, the, fr the, the frost snakes are immune to... Fire. I have to imagine 
that they are immune to frost also. Nice shot. Just trying to inflict as much damage. Oh, is it confused? Maybe it's confused. <sighs> okay, let's do this. We'll try a, a rapid deployment here. I'm really worried about other enemies. Let's see what happens. We gotta learn the ins and outs of this silly snake. So, I remove disorientation? Okay, but not frozen. <laughs> oh, maybe because it, it reacted there, so that was its, like, uh, yeah, that's what happened. Okay. Let's do this. It, it might have to go around the whole building instead of through a window or something. We'll see. No, it's coming in. Wow. Um, all right. I'm sort of fine with this, I guess. Looking to see if I can, uh... Suppress all these guys. Not that it's super crazy necessary. We've got our free whiplash, maybe, that lands. 50-50. Unfortunate. Interference. But I'm used to it. Hmm. We could take the shot, it's just not super solid. Uh, she does have the kill zone thing. There's a world in which this actually helps. Oh, we got that one. I'm glad I didn't move then. Let's see if we can pull the priest. Sick. That's like one of my favorite skills in the game. Good crit, too. Unreal. Good job. And then he's going to kill him on the... Uh, on the move after. Hunter of Vipers. Sick. Now it, now she's running. Are we... Oh, it doesn't trigger Overwatch. But he's super disoriented. What was that that just happened? It's regenning. Of course. I'm guessing the disorientation is really messing with it. Oh, it might be going for the thing now. <laughs> that was... That was really weird. Oh, you have that too. Well, great. Awesome. Uh-oh. I'm just grateful we got to fight that thing when we did. Because we essentially fought it alone. And I couldn't really ask for anything more. And hopefully when it comes back, it's, uh, even better for us. We, maybe we can finish it. Yeah, see? He's inside that table. And we're frozen. Cool. Love that. Nice. 
Okay, where are the other enemies? Reloaded. Uh, you may as well go for the dash. Let's grab the loot. Okay, and we know about the chrysalid that's burrowed. Maybe that maybe that's the last one. I guess it's possible because the uh, rulers are no longer replacing a pod, I think. Or, sorry, they are replacing a pod now. So, it feels like maybe we should have more, but... Uh, I would prefer not getting the acid taste. Looks like we're going to actually get a decent amount of these saved. Watch. I'm on it. Seems doable. Uh, let's see if we can go up top. Changing position. Cover doesn't really matter, but it, these things could be faceless, too. Okay, where is this thing? It's totally gone. Heading out. Whoa, what the hell? Whatever you Ooh, say. Okay. I was really thinking about that. As you order. Mia and Gate Nick. Overwatch mode. Perfect. Covering now. Moving to Overwatch. No trespassers. Okay, is this some kind of joke? I go. Leave this place. I'll start trying to actually just rescue these instead of hunting the chrysalid, I guess. I move. Advancing. On the move. That is confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. That was cool. A little double save. I didn't know if that was possible. But here we are. In double save territory. Can, can we get this that. one too, just in the edge? On, hustle. Nice. Scanning a beat. Set overwatch priority. I mean, I'm sure one of these is going to be a bad one. Acknowledge. Multiple civilian contacts have been secured. Overwatch. Oh, there we go. Where's that chrysalid though? It looked like it was ready to go ready to rumble.
shots. Sensors at maximum range. Toasty. Roast him. So, so you're telling me the only civilian uh, casualty here is, in fact, from us killing them. Ouch. Hey, I mean, at least you cleared the building. That's something. Surprise sneak attack. Seems doable. Shot failed to connect. I feel like I'm going to be hunting this chrysalid for the rest of eternity now. On the move. Oh my god. I'm all over it. The little hangs. This is when the battle scanner supporters are going to come out. This is why you need a battle scanner. And in this exact scenario, you're not wrong. Excellent work, Commander. You've done an outstanding job getting the civilians out of the combat zone. Hoffentlich lohnt sich das. I see three right here. I I should probably not trigger this one just in case. I don't know where any of the others are, but Yeah, I have a, a weird feeling about this chrysalid. I feel like we're not going to find it. All right. Let's just go hunting. On your order. I'm basically looking to tank a chrysalid attack if it's burrowed. I'm going. As you command. Not giving us anything. That is bizarre. I will comply. I'm on it. Whatever you say. Um Tactical movement. I just don't see how it could have come this way. To that position. So weird. Kind problem, boss. Oh, hold on. Oh, there it is. Dang. Roast it. Or not. Warning shot. Moving to position. No problem, boss. This is kind of like one of those um, throwback retaliation missions where it's it's like highly comprised of uh, chrysalids. The good old days. Target 
I mean, I'll, I'll take I'll take the breezy mission. I'll take it. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay. Three for four. 49. Trell, 4 for 4, 24. Toaster, 4 for 6, 108. Weather Girl, 34 damage. Stargrave, 4 for 4, 46. And Serenity, 0 for 3. She's supposed to be our consistent one. Uh, that was not the case. Okay. I think we got pretty lucky on, like, enemy spawns, too, considering... Considering our force level. Our friend from the resistance is becoming one of our most trusted... Hey, Toaster, enemies. nice, nice, nice. It's a testament to okay, our he... I, I wasn't sure of their rank, so he is now a champion. That is awesome. So, plus one damage and 20% chance to crit on melee attacks. I love that. Generate a protective field which redirects any attacks against allies inside it towards you. Gain bonus defense and armor while active. 30 defense, 2 armor. 2 turn cooldown. Chemical Storm, unlock a special chem thrower attack that affects a complete circle around the spark. Pioneer's position. And Nightmare Fuel, great name. Chem thrower attacks have a chance to panic. You know, it's funny. We, um... We mostly use them as a bashing machine. And for that reason, I mean, both of these are good. I think I'm going to take Ruthless. Now, do I also want to take these? Looks like their AP points have been fixed because they were cheaper before. He's got 10. I wish there was one that made his, uh, his retaliation attacks land or, uh, do more damage, but. Grants an action point after the attack. Four turn cooldown. So it's almost like a running gun. Run somewhere, do a little bit of damage, and then you can do, like, a follow-up stronger attack. Let's do that. So many civilians. Excellent work, Commander. <laughs> Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, th where are we at? Three days on... Three days on psionics. That's exciting times. We have... Hold on. Do I have anybody in the training? Okay, Trell and Viking. Go. Oops. Durations reduced by one day. Bonus aim when their bomb mates attacked or been attacked by the soldier's target. And stand by me. We can cleanse. Okay, this is exciting. So, I'm thinking we go Exalt Headquarters. Who would we have? We'd have Iggy, Angerbot. I don't have either of our, of our marksmen. I might wait for one of them. Avenger plotting new course. Probably, if we can, we'll wait for Trell so that she can work on that promotion. Don't need an engineer. Which dark event is this? Resistance informant? Which we're fine with. It's going to reduce the retaliation counter. 100% fine with that. So we're going to ignore. 
Remove dark event. Improved reflex actions. Uh, not a huge problem, honestly. New infill. Sabotage the transmitter. Okay. So this is to remove high alert. Yes. Uh, does this really matter now? Hold on a second. So we're in that we're basically in end game. There's not a lot of missions that are going to be crucial that are like timer based. But uh, that being said, that being said, it this would be a good one to to get out of here. Just in case. What is it? Sabotage the transmitter. Uh, enemy tech defense is increased by 20. Towers can't be hacked. They already, there's already barrier in place, so, like, that's fine. It's subway. These missions could be tough. These guys are shaking. Can bring Angerbot. I could bring Toaster back out. He's only, like, just under. I think we're going to swap this Pulse for... <laughs> Without knowing if there's robots, it's really hard to say if we should bring that blue screen canister. But well, dealing with, like, Spectres and Codexes now, yeah, let's, let's bring it. And then here we'll do the... Instead of the auto reload, we'll do the canister charges. Gremlin Mark II, that's good. Uh, do we have, like, a plasma version of the bullpup? Yeah. Oh, yeah, here, the K90. Okay, cool. Next, let's take a field medic. Stop messing around with that. Let's take out Rhino here for our Marine. Tempted to take Iggy, but I'd like to keep Iggy for the um, for the Exalt mission. Because pulling people out of position is really, really powerful. Let's bring uh, Pale Rider. I gotta remember not to be overconfident here. Okay, let's bring... Yeah, let's bring her. She's got two really good traits. Aurora. Okay. How do we want to build these guys? You should take the Rage Suit. Uh, take the Shard Gun. We can actually build the better Hunter Axe, I believe. Ionic Axe. Or not. Isn't that... Shred's armor, acts critical damage, and chance to set target on fire is much lower than the swords of the same tier. Wait, what did I just build? Do, 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 do. I built the Ionic Axe, right? Now it's gone from here. Is that not the upgrade? 
Maybe it just gets applied and it's still called the Hunter's Axe. Fair enough. Let's... I don't recall what this was before, so maybe that's the case. Let's go Stasis Vest on Brunton. Exosuit here. We're going to go Mag Cannon. Mag Shorty. And let's grab those Talon Rounds. I think the Coil Rifle's pretty good. 5 to 9. Uh, let's take the Real Plasma. Better crit chances. And let's give you the plated vest. You can take hazmat. And well, I think we'll go shotgun here. Mind you, I have two, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's do this instead. Let's go Prototype Plasma. Predator. Advanced Launcher. Acid. Uh, we'll take a Frost. And then Anger Bot. Do I give you a Vest as well? It's a safe option. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's okay. Who's going to be doing the most overwatching? Maybe our field medic. I like having these crits over here. I do wonder if I should give the crits to Pale Rider, but I don't know. They trigger quite often. I might just leave it. Nearby accuracy. Reaction shot. Free reload here. And let's go basic speed loader there. Okay, I think I'm good with this. Seven days, 20 hours. It's not too bad. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Hey, actually, very happy to see Venom rounds. Okay. So now that that's done, Psionics in 13. Let's go scan for Avenger Intel here. New There's some other possibilities out there for scanning sites, but they're just really long. Shadow chamber now nice. operational. That's cool. That's big. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objective added. Okay, so now we do need to break this down relatively soon to kind of get things going, but we need to finish this. I probably need to at least get some intel. Okay. Siam, Experimental Psy. Mutons Instant. Let's go. Concussion grenades. Destroyer vest. Incorporates a rudimentary damper field. Once activated, the damper field provides increased protection. I I love that for them, so I probably should try that for us as well. Data cache is inspired. 12 days. 
So is this data cache more than the data pad? Probably. Black ice encryption, black ice rounds. This is only two days. You know what? I'm gonna hit that. I do want beam weapons. I want the war. I want all of this. I want all of this stuff. We need hunter weapons, warlock weapons. I just, it's time. This is quick, so let's knock that out. But then I, I think I do need to get intel. Unfortunately. Unless I just scan there forever now. But word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have him working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Rapid deployment interesting here with these guys. We'll see. We're recovering remains. That's pretty cool. First time. New assault. We probably don't take the any of these. The numbers. This is these nice. Are the tactical projections for our next field operation. Only 14 enemies. This is a top secret advent project. Ugh. I wonder what this is. And it's assassin territory. I'm going to skip it only because I kind of have to. Alloy padding could be nice to remove. And we can at least start this. Give somebody health. It's a bit weird, but I'm going to put uh, Stargrave in here. Or maybe I should put Schmidt in. I'm starting to think towards Endgame, who's going to be more likely to come out. He's bonded with with uh, Zara. He's bonded with Weather Girl. Both of which, great options to come out on the final mission. So, tough call. I doubt we would bring two sappers. You got Dense Head. That's really nice. Nazara has League Pitcher, which is useless for him. I'm going to tank up Musion here. go civilian disguise. And then we'll put Magister in. Understood, Commander. My followers will okay. appreciate the support of your soldiers. That's really cool. The latest covert that is really cool. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Mag support cannon, tracer rounds, nano med kit. That is such a cool, like, being able to recover a body like that. Ugh. Unreal. You have to, like, the way we set it up is we had to wait till we have a colonel. Like, that's, and then it, it's a big commitment to get them back, too, right? Assault infantry? Sure. That works. Okay, what's this one? The hunt and exalt here. Spider and fly. Risk of ambush on all covert actions. <laughs> um, it's super annoying, yes. That yeah, that that's that is pretty bad. I'm trying to think if we can avoid doing it. Just trying to like project how many covert actions we're gonna actually need to be doing. 
in the next little while. So, 14 enemies plus exalt squads. It says uh, psionic. We see the priest, paladin cybersters. Fewer advent because of the exalt. Yeah, I wonder if I should be tackling this. It's pretty bad. Because then even just like sending people out for the easy jobs becomes a t real task. Like imagine if we got this dark event permanent early on. We'd be, that would be insane. Yeah, I think I should probably do it. Might prove to be challenging too, depending on who's available here. We are pretty thin at the moment. Okay, so we want to take we want to take blue screens for uh, to deal with shields, to deal with the mech. We'll bring this bond pairing right away. I think I got to bring Iggy now. Uh, you're a ways off for repairs. Barnaby. Drac. And then, do we want a tank? Forgot he was on that covert action. Damn it. I could bring 14, got 10. He's not going to have the benefits of the repair unless we can get high ground. We're in the subway, so that high ground is going to be unlikely. He does have a bunch of grenades, though, so there's that. I think we'll bring them. What does he have? Eight? We'll take heat grenades. How do we want to handle this? Let's take a flashbang. And try and use that on the exalt. Well, we can use it against any of them. I might be a bit light on armor here. We'll see. Oh no, these guys already have Predator. Predator there. Mag cannon. We'll do the... I'll build the other shorty. Do we have a uh, plasma shorty yet? I don't think so. I think that comes with the shotgun unlock. Man, that last Exalt mission that we did for all of that, all of the alloys, what a game changer. Okay, so I'm also going to need to build some blue screens here.
also just saw that we could build Viper rounds using the Venom rounds. Yes. Bonus damage two and poison. I think we'll give you the tracers. Kind of want to go blue screens. But the aim only at 76 really needs you hitting. We'll go blue screens on the others. I guess I'll stick with the standard arc thrower here. We'll go coil, mag support, shotgun. I need another K90. Let's get these guys kitted up here. Basic bipod. Mobility is not super important on him. These guys, all their mobility is actually quite low. Take the lightweight frame here. Close range crit. We could take an ammo slot on you. And then reaction focused. Then we can replace this with a vest. Blue screens there. We can go dashing reloads, I suppose. Reflex embedded, and then the mag shorty. Sure, that doesn't really help me there, but I think that's fine. So we got one flashbang. Should I take a frost? I actually don't think that I will. No sectoids at all. Which is very surprising. But it will be a lot of priests. Maybe I should bring more flashbangs? I'll bring one more. Alright. Let's do it to it, guys. Weather Girl, Stargrave, Iggy, Suave, Drac, and 14 got 10. Heading to the subways. Fun times. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.